The third essential is to build your life on a solid foundation. And we know what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 and 25. He said, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. You must have a solid foundation under your life on a day-by-day -day basis. And how does this scripture say that we get a solid foundation? We have to be able to, what he said, liken unto a wise man, and he, it says he hears these sayings of mine. Jesus said, listen to me, listen to my words, and then do what I say. Listen and do is how you get a solid foundation in your life. A lot of us have heard a lot of messages, and they've been good messages, if I have to say so myself. <laughs> but, that, but that doesn't mean that you have a solid foundation in your life if all you've done is listen to good messages. It, it, it says, listen to these sayings of mine and do them. Do them. And so a solid foundation is always based upon being a doer of the word and not a hearer only. To have a solid foundation, the rock that he's talking about isn't just hearing the word because everybody heard the word. Even those who, who fell when the rain came and the storm of life come. They all heard. But the difference between those that are solid and those that are shifting sand is whether they're doing what they've heard or not in their life. And so the rock is the doing of the word. We also know that sometimes we have to dig deep to get a foundation laid. If you are not interested in things of the Spirit, if you're not interested in the things of the Bible, if you uh, look at the, uh, Sunday morning as a duty that you're glad to fulfill and be done with in an hour, in an hour and a half, then you're not digging deep enough to have a solid foundation in your life. You should have a daily devotional. You should be looking in the Word for yourself. God will speak to you. He's not going to withhold His truth. He'll withhold His revelation from you. He wants you to have it. So dig deep to know the truth. And then you will survive the storms that come your way. Because yes, indeed, we have to remind ourselves, there is no utopia on the face of this earth where there will be no trial, no test, no storm, no winds that blow, no rain that descend, and no flood that comes. But in the midst of all of those disastrous things, he says, y your life founded upon the rock, you will endure, your foundation will prevail, and you will get over to the other side. You'll endure them, every one of them.